the world. The world of God is life, a light onto my feet and a lamp into my path. Join us as we explore the revelation of the scripture through God's servant, Prophet Gabriel Bonola Paul, the Apostle of Freedom, of Christ the King Rescue Global Ministry. Stay blessed. Welcome to this platform of Christ the King Rescue Global Ministry, also known as Rescue Christ. The Lord, when we gather to worship, wherever you are listening to me this morning, I say good morning to you in Jesus' name. Last week, we began a topic on significance and values of positive self talk in a time like this. Significance and values of positive self talk in a time. Like this. Taking my text from the book of Numbers, chapter 14, 28 and 29. Numbers, verses 28 and 29. Then, as surely as I live, declares the Lord, I will do to you the very thing I had you say in this wilderness. Your bodies will fall. Every one of you, 20 years old or more, who was counted in the census and who has grumbled against me. Take a particular note of that verse 28. Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken. In my ears, so I will do this verse is establishing the fact that your word carries power. Whatever you say to yourself, whatever you say concerning your future is inadvertently, knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, shaping your future destiny. Last week, I made us to know the significance of words. I also spoke about the significance of what you say to yourself. I also mentioned the powers that other people's carry in our lives. People like parents, pastors, teachers, spouse, friends, master, and even God Almighty himself. I didn't stop there. Last week, I made mention of reasons why people talk negatively about themselves. Reasons for negative self-talk. Many people engage in negative self-talk because they don't know the power their words carry. Many engage in negative self-talk because they have dirty mind. Negative thinking. Many engage in negative self-talk because of mental capacity or mental problem. Wrong belief system. Today, I'll continue from where we start. And I'll begin from the values or benefits in positive self-talk. Let me quickly chip in one story. In 1987, one man was brought to me. This man from the story had apparently been a well-to-do person. He was on a bike, weeping, when the Okada man asked him, Sir, may I know why you are weeping? And he told the story. I used to have several cars. I saw the last one yesterday. And the man said, you have several cars, and you have sold all the vehicles. He said, yes. And I don't know where to go from here. The other man said, I know of a man of God. Can I take you to him? I said, I don't mind. 
That was how the Okada man brought, me, brought him to me. From there, we struck a relationship. And I visited this house. One day, I visited this house. And they said, Prophet, help me to tell my wife. You should stop making jest of my situation. Because as you see me, I'm a multi-millionaire in the making. <laughs> the wife will say, hey, millionaire, millionaire. You say, prophet, help me to tell my wife. Very soon, I'm going to become a millionaire. And I told the wife, you better take your husband seriously. Because your confession will become your possession. I want to tell you, not quite long after, maybe about two years or three or thereabout, the Lord visited the man again and he became a millionaire. Not just a millionaire, he became a multi millionaire. I remember him telling me he, made, he got a contract. From where he made 13 million naira in 2001. 13 million naira in 2001 is more than 130 million naira now in value. This was the same man who sold seven cars. I tell this story to let you know that no matter the situation you find yourself, you can bounce back if you believe it and you confess it. If the Lord did it for that man, he can do it for you. What are the values or benefits in positive self-talk? Number one, positive energy will be released to you. We have two types of energies. Negative energy or bad energy and positive or good energy. When you confess negatively, you are unknowingly releasing bad energy. I'm sick. Before you know it, you'll be feeling sick. If you confess, I am rich, before you know it, you'll be rich. So, positive confession release onto your life positive energy. Another value in positive confession or positive self-talk is it enables attaining success possible. Positive talk we make attaining success possible. It is also a way of coming out your future the way you want it. Positive confession, positive self-talk enables you to carve out your future the way you want it. If you want to be a billionaire, confess that you will be a billionaire and you are going to become a billionaire. If you want to be a millionaire, confess it. That you will be a millionaire and before you know it, you will be a millionaire. If you want to be a medical doctor, confess it. That you will be a medical doctor and before you know it, you will be a medical doctor. Positive self-talk casts your future. Casts out your future the way you want it. It is also an insulator against doubt. Positive self-talk is an insulator against doubt. It insulates your It insulates your mind. It protects your mind against doubt. Positive self-talk also insulates you against inferiority complex. Yes. Don't pity yourself. Bishop David Odeko said, you are not to be pitied. You are to be envied. Don't pity yourself. Don't say things 
There are many people to pity you and say, oh, sorry. Sorry, oh, your case is pathetic. Your story is pathetic. Your situation is pathetic. No. There is nothing you are passing through that someone somewhere sometime have not passed through. So, you are not the first person to experience what you are experiencing and you will not be the last person. So, do not let people pity you. Don't develop inferiority complex. So, when you make positive confession or self-talk, you are insulating yourself against inferiority complex. Positive self-talk will refine and give you clear insight. It will enable you to know where you are going. It will enable you to know what you are doing. It will enable you to know what you are going after. Positive self-talk will also motivate you to attempt anything. Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Do you know what? Apostle Paul was in the prison when he said that word. He was locked up in the prison, in the Roman prison, when he said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So, if somebody in the prison yard can make this type of confession or positive sector, what about you that you are a free person? You are not caged. Don't cage yourself. Don't let the situation you find yourself imprison your greatness and your destiny. Positive self-talk will release aura and favor to you in abundance. Oh yes. Positive self-talk will release unto you aura, virtue, favor to you in abundance. When you confess or you make positive self-talk, the words you speak out will go to the universe and will release favor. Will release aura. Will release positive response unto you. If you say I'm great, the universe will say you are great. If you say to yourself, I'm a brilliant person, the universe will release to you that you are brilliant. If you say to yourself, I know I'm smart, you know what? The universe will release to you, this is a smart guy. But if you say, I know I can't get it, I know I'm a dollar. Before you know it, the universe will say, this man is a dollar. You are not a dollar. You are brilliant. Can I hear you say, man, you are smart. Yes. You are a very, very smart person. You are handsome. You are a good-looking person. You are beautiful. Don't say things that will make you down on yourself. Or make you down on yourself. When you make positive self-confession, the heaven and the earth the fight in helping you. The forces of heaven and the earth. You know what the Bible says in jo Joel chapter 3 verse 10? It says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. When you confess that you are strong, the forces of heaven and earth will join hands and say, this man is strong. Positive self-talk. We help you to live a great life. The Bible says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spear. Let the weak say, I am strong. When you make positive self-talk, it will help you to achieve your desires. Yes. You want to achieve anything in life, say it and confess it. Somebody say, say who, who you want to become in the morning, say you want to become at night before you go to bed. 
Let it be the first thing you say to yourself in the morning. Let it be the last thing you say to yourself before you go to bed at night. Before you know it, it will go to your mind that this is who you want to become. And before you know it, it will become your destiny. What are the areas where you must engage in positive self-talk? Engage in your positive self-talk career. There are no career, no profession, no business that cannot make you rich. Don't pity yourself. Somebody don't know that one of the founders of Yahoo Yahoo was a former cobbler, shoemaker. How many people know that? Today we use yahoo.com, yahoo.com. But you don't know that one of the founders of Yahoo company is a cobbler, a shoemaker. But he never believed he would end up as what? A shoemaker. And something great out of his life. That same career can take you to anywhere. Make positive self-talk about your marriage. There are some people who talk bad or ill about their marriage all the time. My marriage cannot work. My marriage is terrible. I married to a terrible spouse. That man is a monster. That man is a devil. Oh, I regretted coming across that man. Or some people say, oh, that woman, forget it. She can never be a good wife. My wife is not a good cook. My wife is a terrible human being. And before you know it, the destiny of his or her spouse will be shaped according to the confession of that particular spouse. Make positive self-talk about your marriage, about your finances, about your studies, about your health. Let your positive self-talk center on your plans, your dreams, and your goals. Talk positively about how long you want to live. You are not going to die young. Don't say they don't live long in a family. That is your family. You are different. You will live long. You will not die prematurely. You will not die untimely. Premature death is not your portion. Make a positive self-talk about your life. Make positive self-talk about your children. Yes. Let your positive self-talk center on your children. My children shall be great. In the book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, you know what that prophet said, that great prophet, prophet Isaiah. He said, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord had given me history from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Zion. Wow. I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and wonders. Your children are great children. Your children are wonderful children. Your children are blessed children. Your children are, in fact, you are lucky to have those children in your family. Those children that will take you to the far corners of the world. Some of your children will rise and become global prophets. Another one will rise and become international medical doctor. Another one will rise and become a global lawyer. Another one will rise and become a politician of note. Another one will rise and become a, an IT specialist. He can rise. That same child can rise to become what? An astronaut. You know what? Neil Armstrong, the first astronaut in America to land in the moon. When she was young, Neil Armstrong went to meet his grandmother, his paternal grandmother. And he told his grandmother, Mama, I, my dream is to go to the moon. Do you think I can do it? His grandmother said, yes, why not? You can go to the moon. 
your grandfather, Admiral Feist, dreamt of discovering the Northern Pole. And he went ahead and became the first man to discover the Northern Pole. If your grandfather dreamt of discovering the Northern Pole and he discovered it against all odds, and you are dreaming now to be the first moon, you can do it. And through the same positive self-talk of Neil Armstrong and his grandmother in 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to land in the moon. You can go from nowhere to somewhere. You can rise from the corner of the globe. Anything is possible. If you can say it, you can see it. I was telling somebody who was a medical doctor, one of the former presidents of America. She's a Nigerian. She is a Nigerian. His father was her father, rather, she's a woman. The medical doctor is a woman. Her father was sent away from school many times because they couldn't pay. But one day, heaven smiled on them and they broke through. And the lady today, she's one of the medical doctors making wave globally. She's a medical doctor to one of the former presidents of America. God bless her so much that she became a global medical doctor. So, make positive self-talk about that child. Lay your hand on your child or your children and say good things to them. You, this child, you become great. You will be celebrated. You are ahead and not a tail. You will reach the corner of the world. You will become a figure to be celebrated. When you are declaring this positive self-talk into the life of your children, you are inadvertently carving out his or her destiny. How do you engage in positive self-talk? Number one, verbalize it. That means, say it out loudly. Number two, visualize it. Do you know what? Another thing, put those positive self-talk in writing and read them out. Read out who you want to become. Read out what you want your destiny to be. Express it through music. Surround yourself with positive people. Positive colors. Positive images. Look at those bright colors that brighten your mood. Yes. And surround yourself. Personally, I love white, blue, and red. Whenever I see those colors, oh, they trigger my, my mood positively. So I like to live in an environment of white color, red color, or blue color. So discover the color you like and surround yourself with those colors in repetitive declaration of what you want regularly. Repetitive in psychology. We are taught to ingrain a knowledge in the subconscious mind of a child. You must say it 5,000 times. How many times? 5,000 times. No wonder when we are in school you, 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 you will not forget in your primary school they teach you A, B, C how many times? Countless times. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Tomorrow, you read the same thing. Tomorrow, you read the same thing. Because it is only by repetitive declaration that those things will be stored in your brain, in your subconscious mind. I remember when I was in school, 
The two times two, four, two times three, six, two times four, eight, two times five, ten, two times six, twelve, two times seven, fourteen, two times eight, sixteen, two times nine, eighteen, two times ten, twenty, two times one, twenty one, two times two times eleven, twenty two, two times twelve, twenty four. Tomorrow they want you to read the same thing. Next tomorrow you'll be asked to read the same thing. And you, 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 you wonder, after almost 50 years, if not over 50 years, I still do not forget it. Why? Because I've repetitively declared two times two, whatever. And now it's in my subconscious. Declare who you want to become. Don't be tired of it. Wake up in the morning and say, Gabriel, you are a billionaire in the making. You become a billionaire. When you want to go to bed at night, after you have taken your bath, you lay on your bed, you say, Lord, thank God, this Gabriel, I'm inching closer to becoming a billionaire. Repetitive declaration. Another way to engage in positive self-talk is be happy. Happiness, binga, a, 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 a message of positive self-talk. You cannot be, be moody or be sad and engage in positive self-talk. When you are moody or you are sad, you want to say things that are not exciting. You, you will say things that will not lift up your mood. Say no. In fact, I don't get myself. I am confused. And before you know it, Confusion becomes your lot. So, happiness. Very, very important to engage in impulsive self-talk. Fill your heart with gratitude and praise. Three days ago, I was reading an article. And the man said, the first thing I received today is to wake up. Say, wow. So, ability to sleep and wake up is what? It's a blessing. Be grateful to God for it. Show gratitude to God that you are able to sleep and wake up. Show gratitude to God that you are alive and you are healthy. Fill your heart with gratitude and praise. Sometimes when the devil wanted to deal with me by making me to see to heart, the Holy Spirit will come and to my head. And I will remember when I got to Lagos less than 30 years ago, I was nobody. I came to Lagos with just my traveling bag, four suits, no, two suits, that's, and maybe two or three shoes. That's what I came to Lagos with. Today, when I see the blessings God has given me, I say, wow! There was one afternoon about eight or nine years ago, I was passing through a very hard time. And I was down spiritually. And I was, the devil was giving me food. Food of sorrow. <laughs> I was eating them. Food of mystery. I was consuming it. Devil organized for me what you call pity party. I was pitying myself and I was crying. I was crying internally. Not quite long, my two girlfriends, that's my daughters, Freedom and Queen, they returned from school. I was upstairs. I never knew where they got the picture from. I, I never knew how they knew what I was passing through. They just brought the picture to me upstairs. They said, Daddy, who is this? Can you recognize who is this? And it was a picture of when I was nobody. And I never knew I can go that far or can, 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 can come that far in life. And when I saw the picture, I said, this is me. He said, Daddy, are you sure this is you? I said, yes. They just left. They dropped the picture and went back downstairs. And I knew God has spoken to me through these girls. God was telling me, 
Gabriel, you are ingrate. Can you see how far I've taken you? Can, do you ever dream you can come this far in life? Immediately, I rebook devil in my life. I put on garment of praise. And I began to thank God. I thank God for my wife. I didn't come to Lagos with a wife. I thank God for my children. I didn't come to Lagos with any child. I thank God for all those material things God gave me. You know what? I thank God for wonderful friends and church members and relatives that God surrounded me with. When I look to my left, right, center, I see that God has blessed me. Not because I have the word on my fingertips, but because I was not where I used to be 20, 15, 10 years ago. I'm going, yeah, yeah, yes, I am. I'm going, yeah, yeah, every day. You see, fill your heart with gratitude and You want to engage in positive self-talk. Practice confession of biblical declaration. Before I round up my message, let me quickly give you a few examples of positive self-talk you can engage in. Few examples of positive self-talk you can engage in. You can start by saying, I know I will make heaven. I will live long. I will enjoy the fruits of my labor. I'm a winner. I'm a favored person. I enjoy favor everywhere. I'm a lucky child. I succeed in all I do. I have a mindless touch. Anything I touch, I succeed in it. I'm not a failure. I'm making progress on all sides. I'm unstoppable. I'm a beloved of God. I'm a great person. I am strong. I am rich. I am healthy. I have good and wonderful people in my life. Oh, God is with me. You can declare it. God is with me. I'm not alone. I always get up. I excel in all I do. I know my future is bright. I am always optimistic that things will be good for me. Something good is coming my way. Something good is coming my way. Because my Jesus is alive and my Savior is a great provider. Something good is coming on my way. You see, something good is coming. Things are going to turn around for good. I know my plans will succeed. I will achieve my goals in life. You can confess. I love life. I'm enjoying my life. <laughs> I'm enjoying my life. About three years ago, I was drinking a coffee. Cappuccino. Yes. I was drinking cappuccino. Somebody called me. He said, Hello, sir. Where are you? I said, I'm at home. So what are you doing? I said, I'm enjoying a great coffee. I said, I'm enjoying it. He said, I said, yes, I said, it's cappuccino. I'm enjoying cappuccino. I said, it's a wonderful tea. <laughs> you see, as I said it, I, I have even a better feeling of drinking that cappuccino. You see, let people know you're enjoying life. That phone you are using, tell people, oh, I'm enjoying my phone. Yes. When you put on a cloth, tell, tell, tell it yourself, I like this cloth. This cloth is fitting. Yes. So, positive confessions or positive self-talk will go a long way in shaping your destiny. 
before I round up the message, let me quickly give examples of people that engage in positive self-talk. David, in the book of Psalm 27, line 13, I would like you to read it. Psalm 27, line 13. Psalm 27. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's NIV. King James says, I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Do you know what? King David was inside a rock, a cave, when he said this word. Enemies have chased him out of his house. Do you know the enemy? His own son, Absalom. Absalom rebelled against him and his best friend, his best best confidant, Ahithophel. In 2 Samuel chapter 17, he, he ran for his dear life so that they would not kill him. And he was sleeping inside the cave in the wilderness. It was right inside that terrible situation that he made this powerful confession. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And you know what? He was restored back to his palace because he, he made a positive self-talk. Prophet Isaiah, I've said it before, in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, he said, I and the Lord and the children the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. Prophet Isaiah made positive confession about himself and about his children. And today, after almost 3,000 years, they still remain signs and wonders. Apostle Paul made positive confession in Acts Apostle chapter 27 from verses 14 to 37. And it turned out as he confessed. Storm of life did not overcome him. He was in a terrible situation. They found himself, themselves between the devil and the deep blue sea. There was a raging storm. But an angel of the Lord came to him and said, Apostle Paul, you know what? You are not going to be consumed by this storm. You will get to Rome. You will stand before Caesar and testify about me. And that was how it turned out. Nehemiah, in Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 8, he made a positive confession. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 8. He said, And may I have a letter, and a letter to answer the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me the timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appartained to the house, and for the wall of the city, according to king, granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Nehemiah believed the good hand of the Lord was upon him and he found favor. Some people will say, I'm, I carry ill luck. Anywhere I go, people don't show me favor. Nehemiah believed he has hand of God for him, upon him for good and he obtained favor. Extra also engaged in positive self-talk in the book of Esther, chapter 8. Esther, chapter 8. And first, Extra, chapter 8. And first, 22. Yes. Extra, 8, 22. He said, I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from enemies on the road because we are told the king, the gracious and of our God is on everyone who looks to him. You see, the gracious hand of God, Extra 8.22, the gracious hand of God is upon you. Make positive confession, positive self-talk, your practice from today. What, you are, what are you saying to yourself? Is it good? Is it bad? Or is it ugly? Learn to say or confess positive things to yourself. Learn to say or confess positive things about your future, about your business, about your children, 
about your circumstances. And you know what? Things will turn out well for you. May the Lord bless his word. Please sing this song with me. I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Can you say so? I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. I am a lucky child. I am a faithful child. Jesus makes me a faithful child. I am a favored child. Can you say so? You are favored, you are lucky, you are blessed, you are great, you are marvelous, you are wonderful. You are not a failure. You are not an ill luck child. You are not a, a liability to your family. You are not set to your family. You are not set to your generation. You are not set to your church. You are an asset to your nation. You are not set to this generation. You are not set to the world. The world is lucky to have you in this generation. Oh, Jesus make me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Before I pray for you, I want to once more tell you, this program is coming to you from the platform of Christ the King Rescue Global Ministry also known as Rescue Camp, situated in Okearo, Ogo State, Nigeria, a border town between Lagos and Ogo State. We are on a social platform. On YouTube platform, it is CK Reglo. On YouTube, it is CK Reglo. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, it is CK Reglo 1. We are also on Mixed LR and online radio platform. You will do well to follow us every Sunday by 9 a.m. and every Wednesday by 8 a.m. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name. Eternal Father, I pray for everyone here in my phone this morning that you fill them with the up the spirit to declare and to always say positive things to themselves and to their future and to their lives in the name of Jesus. From today, they will no longer engage in negative self-talk. They will no longer engage in demoralizing self-talk. They will no longer engage in destructive self-talk. But rather, through your help and your spirit, they begin to declare greatness, prosperity, progress, wealth about their future, about their homes, about their businesses, about their marriages and their children in the name of Jesus. From today, they will begin to engage in positive self-talk. And as they engage in positive self-talk, as they say it, they begin to see it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Happy Sunday to you all. Till I see you next time. We believe you have been blessed by this ministration. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook at W.